Raiders as we come to you from Lombardi Avenue. Lambeau Field, the site for today's game. The Raiders are back deep, waiting to return the kick. And Blair Walsh looks ready to get this one underway. Some experience stepping onto the field today for the first time. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent, and it's just a matter of time until he takes that experience and matches it with all of his talent and becomes one of those guys that we say, hey, the game is going to hinge on him. I think he's very close to that. Touchdown! What a run! Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the our wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. Fields the football at the three, and they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The offense is led by this young man who threw for nearly 10,000 yards in his three seasons at Louisville, Teddy Bridgewater. Denny Bridgewater out of the University of Louisville goes to the Minnesota Vikings in the first round of the 2014 draft. He can move around, knows how to run an offense very well. He deserved to be a first-round pick. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing all is out. This one's going back the other way. That brings the play to an end. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. First down at the 31. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And, man, this guy has taken advantage of those opportunities. Offense lines up here. First and goal from the four. Jackson, going to run it right, picks up about two. And with the starting unit, as usual, the attention goes to the wide receivers, who so often, that's a touchdown, able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. This offense, they are so aggressive. I love it, man. Even though they had the lead, they kept pressing the issue, and they got another touchdown to increase that lead. The Raiders' offense is on the sideline right now, bathing in the moment after putting up points, but it's the defense that really made the difference there, setting up the score with the fumble recovery. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down coming up. The Raiders go with the dime formation here on defense. They break through. Tackle it behind the line. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The Raiders defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Third down, following the run. The Vikings lined up. Everybody split out wide. And this will be incomplete. It'll be a three and out. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Hester from the 27. That's a gain of seven. They come 
to the line of scrimmage. First down. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. They'll run it here. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. As you take a look at this defense, take a look, too, at Captain Monterland, who usually draws the other team's best wide receiver. Jimmy played well for the Carolina Panthers, and every team now needs three or four cover corners, and Monterland is one of those guys, like you said, he can cover anybody. Split backfield here. The Raiders have it at the 39, and he takes off. Unable to complete that one, and that's a very quick three and out. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. Offense lines up here, and the second quarter is underway with this snap. It's wide open, avoids the hit, and slides. The Raiders took a big gamble going for it on fourth down, and they got it. Now, can you take advantage of that big gamble? First down at the 49. They'll go ground. What a run by Jackson. Just look at the numbers behind the rushing attack here. And they are absolutely dominating at the line of scrimmage and on the scoreboard as well. An offensive lineman's dream to run the football, to dominate physically and be winning the football game. That is a trifecta. leads us to second down. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Taken down a yard short of the first. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw at that time when they stopped the play for a short game. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Right back to him once more. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. Good job of knowing the situation on the offensive side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. First down at the 18. Jackson has a gain of six. Raiders know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through, good solid run that time. Second down, three for the first. Picked up a couple that time. The Vikings defense, they got backed up in their own red zone, but you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play, they were waiting for it, and they stopped the offense for a very short game. This has been a long drive so far. And he's brought to the ground. Well, that's a good job of the defense getting that tackle inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if they're good enough to keep the offense out of the end zone. What a drive this has been. by the defense. I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. And now Patterson. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Vikings come onto the field for their next series. First down at the 20. And he's thrown to the ground. The Vikings are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Second down coming up. The defense comes out in the dime. What a hit that time. Well, the guys know if they make a big hit and everybody goes ooh and ah, they'll be on the highlight reel. 
That's why a lot of these players play so fast and play a little out of control. Let's go. Right Hand off. The ball is out. He stacked up at that point. That's what you call a take. Away. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. The Raiders will come out in the pistol. First and ten. Gives it to Steven Jackson. The Raiders get a first down. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. First and goal. Here's the handle. He breaks the plate. He's in for the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. Perfect onside kick, and they're going to get the football back. They face first down. This will be the last play before halftime. Launches it down the field. Another touchdown to increase the lead. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window. Very little room to throw that football.